Hi everyone, it's Coot here. You know, friendships are, uh, are a beautiful thing. Sometimes amazing, sometimes challenging. You know, it's just part of life, isn't it? You know, but when you meet someone for the first time, whether it's a friendship, whether it's a partnership, whether it's, whether it's a, a romantic relationship that you end up married or in, a, or, in a, or in a romance with someone, you know, when you attract someone, you're vibrating at a certain frequency, you're vibrating at a certain level of consciousness. So you always attract to you people that mirror the level of consciousness that you're at. So on some level, what I like to say is you're always constantly in relationship with yourself. People that show up into your life as physical manifestations really are physical manifestations of an aspect of yourself. Perhaps an aspect of yourself that you most need to see right now. Perhaps an aspect of yourself that you most need to embrace right now. Perhaps an aspect of yourself that you most need to make peace with or heal right now. Perhaps an aspect of yourself, they're showing you parts of yourself. So you're in relationship with yourself. So when, pe when you meet people and they show up in your life, you are, so to speak, a vibrational match at that particular time in your life. But if you're committed to a spiritual path, if you're committed to growing, to learning, to higher awareness and expansion, you will evolve, you will grow, you will expand your capacity, you will expand your level of consciousness, you will expand, let's just say, your vibration. And the challenge is, unless those around you, and you, many of you may have felt it, unless those around you are also growing and also evolving, chances are, it's going to affect your relationship. You could have been amazing friends with someone, really tight with someone, really close with someone, and then as you grow and expand and step more into your bigness and greatness, you know, they could be sometimes uh, threatened, they could be a little resistant to, to, to what you experience. Have you ever had a, an experience where maybe you went to a seminar or you read a book and you started to step into your greatness and power, and, and your friends who you used to be really close to look at you and go, who are you? Who, who are you becoming? What's going on? And perhaps they try and uh, uh, negate your process. Perhaps they're not supportive. Perhaps they're, they're resisting the changes that are happening inside of you. Know this, they're really not resisting you. They're not resisting you necessarily, so don't take it personally. As you're changing, what often happens is you often reflect to them you know, as you step into more of your power, you often reflect to them themselves. So in, in, in essence, they're not resisting you, they're resisting that part of themselves that you're stepping into. And as you step more into your greatness and your light and your power and your full potential and start to live that, a couple of things will happen. They'll see that and they'll be reminded of what they're not stepping into and it will threaten them, it will scare them, they'll feel insecure because they're not ready to step into that yet because them stepping into that might mean they have to let go of certain structures in their life currently that they're not fully ready for or they'll look at you and they'll be completely inspired totally inspired by the possibility that you're representing of a human being stepping more into their bigness and they will rise to that level as well. Those are the friendships, those are the relationships that are supportive, that are life enhancing versus draining that I feel you want to cultivate because they allow you the space to be more and more of who you are and what will happen is as you grow, they'll grow. As you grow, they'll grow and you get to evolve as souls and expand and support each other more into your fullness and greatness together. The challenge is when that doesn't happen with a relationship, with a partner, with a, you know, with, a, with family members, when that doesn't happen, it puts a certain pressure on the relationship and often the relationship will have to take a new form. That's what happens. It's just life. Life is about change. Life is constantly changing. It's always evolving and changing so that you both have to be shifting and evolving and changing together. To me, that you're shifting and evolving is not necessarily a bad thing. It's an amazing thing. 
if those around you are also willing to grow and evolve with you at the same time. Yet also, I've seen so many amazing people because they feel bad, because they feel responsible or guilty, often hide their light, you know, play small, but not fully allow ourselves to grow fully into our bigness, to be fully who we are, to step into this is me because we're afraid of losing that friend, because we're afraid of losing that person. And what happens as you start to evolve is certain people no longer are a, what I call a vibrational match for where you are. It's not even about them. It's not even personal. It's just your frequencies, your vibration, your level of consciousness just don't match anymore. To hold on to old relationships that are either toxic, don't match anymore, is to keep yourself small and is to not serve yourself or the larger scheme of things in life. I believe by you stepping fully into who you are, you will allow those around you, you will stir stuff up and also allow those around you the possibility to step more into who they are if they are willing, if they are truly willing. So be willing to let go. Be willing to let go of the friendships that are toxic that hold you down, that drain you, that don't give you the space to be fully who you are or that aren't a vibrational match. I say that holding on to old relationships, holding on to relationships that are old, out of comfort, out of guilt, out of, you know, that are toxic and holding on to those relationships, even though they were good when they started, it's kind of like eating a really good meal. You know, have you ever had a really amazing meal and you eat this amazing meal and it's great at the time, it was delicious at the time, but then you digest it and it's like holding on to old relationships is kind of like eating an amazing meal and digesting it but refusing to go to the restroom. You're like, no! This meal was amazing. I'm, I'm not going to let it go. I, I just, I, 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 it was great. I'm not going to let it go. You got to let it flow. You got to let go and let the meal flow so you can make space for a new meal. So you can make space. So you have to let go of these old relationships that you know are no longer in alignment with who you are today, right now, as a vibrational being on a conscious path, so that you can create space for a higher vibration, a higher level of friends and individuals and community that can mirror who you are today. So ultimately, I invite you to connect to your soul. I invite you, I invite you, my friends, to be your own best friend. I think it's important that you also remember that all forms, all forms in the physical world change. All forms have to morph and evolve. It's just the nature of life. Life is creation, you know, birth, creation, destruction, and the old energy seeks a new form. So all forms in relationship are constantly changing as you change, as they change. It's the nature of things. And the hope is that you can change and evolve together. But in the event that it doesn't happen with an individual, then I think it's important to remember that the form might change. The form will and might change, whether it's now or whether it's at the point of death. It will change. But the love, the love you cultivate with someone, the love you had with that person, that doesn't need to go away. The love can remain constant. The heart space can remain constant. You just might have to restructure, recreate, restructure how you interact with that person in your life right now based on who you are, based on who they are in the physical form. It has nothing to do with the, the higher dimension of love. The love can remain. You know, as the quote says, what's love got to do with it? Love has nothing to do with it. There's love, just the form needs to find the expression that allows the most authentic flow to happen between you and that person. Ultimately, remember this, you are love. You are love itself. And as you evolve and as friendships change and as friendships come and go and as relationships flow and come and go, 
I invite you to be your own best friend. Be your own best love. Be your own best lover. And as you do, that connection with yourself will evolve and grow and grow. As you connect to your soul, connect to yourself, you'll realize a deeper connection, a deeper fullness that will only overflow and attract even more people who are at that vibration of love consciousness to meet you right there. Love now. Love you lots. Let go. Let it flow.